Five men are shot in Philadelphia's Queen Village overnight, and police say the gunfire rang out as the victims played a game of dice. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koop has the latest details on this investigation. This shooting sent five people to the hospital overnight, and on Friday you can still see the bullet hole that went through this car, as well as shell casings circled on the ground. Philadelphia PD saying at least 17 shots were fired. Pop, pop, pop. It, it was a whole lot of popping. And you can tell it, it wasn't no firecrackers. Just before midnight, police say two men climbed out of a dark car along the 900 block of South 5th Street and opened fire at a group of men playing dice. All five are in stable condition. Jesse Salas lives across the street. He was watching television when the shooting began and took cover on his floor. About 20 shots. They were just started shooting all over there in a drive-by. Yeah, what did it sound like? Everybody was going crazy. Everybody screaming and yelling. A neighbor who wished to remain anonymous says her granddaughter had narrowly avoided a different shooting on the block just this week. Living here, she says, comes with knowing you have to protect yourself. We talked to one of your neighbors. You said he did the same exact thing. He hit the floor. Is that just <laughs> kind of protocol in this yeah, area? That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Especially we live right here in this corner area, and ain't no telling what gonna happen. People might get stuck up. Shot up. It, it, it don't make a difference around here. The age range of the shooting victims is 19 to 57. Salas has lived here for 12 years and believes the younger victims are good neighbors. Just a bunch of kids on the, on the ground. They were bleeding and everything. And you, and you know them? Yeah, yeah. So what was that like? I'm just worried no one died. Happy no one died. In Queen Village, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.